What's up drama divas and drama dudes? Welcome back to Christine Does Drama and welcome back to my Scandal Reviews. Every week I'll be taking you through the highs and lows of Scandal. So let's just get straight into it. So the episode starts off with Fitz and Olivia in bed together and she is getting it in. She is in bed with Fitz and they are doing the damn thing. And I am like, how have they managed to do this? How have they managed to be in a relationship? How has this happened? Because at the end of last season, they were together. And I was like, how is she in the White House? How is she, How are they together? But it turns out no one knows yet that they are actually together. But she is invited to this royal family dinner. So you see she's there with Fitz, but they're not actually together, just in the same room. And they're hosting this dinner for the royal family of Caledonia. Now Fitz's intention is to get a naval base in Caledonia Caledonia and that's kind of like the basis of him having this dinner and, and inviting this royal family so that he can kind of get her to be on his side. So you see Olivia and Fitz again the White House, you see Olivia in her navy shirt, obviously it's, it's Fitz shirt and it's also kind of like cosy and nice with them together. You kind of forget that he is the president of the free world and there's Olivia and him like having like a chat with each other like they're just a normal couple but we all know they're not just a normal couple and Olivia gets a phone call and she is needed elsewhere. It turns out that the princess of Caledonia has been killed in a car accident and this whole thing echoes the tragic death of Princess Diana. I'm kind of shocked about how far they went with this because it really did echo this whole thing, um, this whole tragedy that happened with Princess Diana because you see that the princess has been killed in a car accident, it's in a tunnel and you see that her bodyguard has also been killed in this accident. So Olivia arrives at the tunnel but she's a little bit too late. There's loads of paparazzi there taking pictures as, of the princess as she's there dying. Olivia tries to cover the body with her coat but she does end up being hired by the Caledonian family to protect their interests. The prince wants all the paparazzi pictures of the princess as she's there dying. He wants them all. He doesn't want any of the press to run the picture and most of them agree with a little help from Quinn as she pays all these um, paparazzi off but one one newspaper doesn't want to budge so Olivia fixes it that the prince can um, be photographed looking at um, the princess as she is there in the mortuary and again this is echoes of Princess Diana because Prince Charles he wasn't photographed but we but we all know that the Prince Charles was there when Diana was in the mortuary he went to view the body so I mean I don't know about this guys I mean I guess it's because when I was a kid I remember um, when she died I think I was about nine years old I remember like being in London you know I'm, I'm, I've been I've born, I'm born and raised in London and um, just the the somber attitude the somber mood of the of people at the time I just I don't know it kind of made me feel a bit uneasy about this whole storyline. So Melly is still after political success. She wants to be, um, I think she wants to be the next president and she's being sworn into the Senate. But you know, last season Melly and Fitz, they had that massive breakup because of what Melly did. She told that information to Olivia's dad and all those jurors ended up being killed. So um, Fitz doesn't want anything to do with Melly. And so he doesn't want to be at the Senate when she's been sworn in but Olivia convinces him that this is the right thing to do you have to be there when she's being sworn in and um, Melly's really happy to see him and she thinks that this is a this is a good thing that maybe they can get back on track but oh no mm -mm -mm. it turns out that Fitz wants a divorce and it was like dun 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 like, I was like oh my gosh but I knew it was coming because I saw the trailer and obviously he he really does love Olivia and wants to be with her but it was still a real shock after all these seasons to see that oh my gosh they're gonna get a divorce. So Olivia and Quinn find out that one of the paparazzi who were there when the princess was, was dying was actually not a paparazzi. He was actually there to murder the princess. He had some kind of funny device and he managed to be able to like cause the car to crash. Which again is Prince, these are all conspiracy theories about the princess Diana's um, death. People say that she's murdered, that she was murdered, this and that. And like I, like I said, I just, I don't know why. Like it was, a, it was fascinating to watch, but it did make me feel a little bit uncomfortable. I don't know why, because just because I was here when it, when it happened and I just, oh, I don't know. It was a little bit, I don't know. And I love Scandal and I think they did it really well, but 
it was a it was a bit much so anyway they find out that this has happened and so she goes so Olivia goes to Fitz and she talks to him about it and he doesn't want to budge on it because he really wants a naval base in Caledonia he really needs that for you know the country he thinks would be a good thing but Olivia's like so you're gonna not investigate like the murder of the princess because of of your naval base because they can't prosecute the royal family but what they can do because the murder happened on American soil they can investigate it but but Fitz doesn't want any part of it so we see a little glimpse of Huck I remember last season he was just a mess he was murdering people left right and center he murdered the jurors he murdered Lena Dunham I mean it was just crazy and um basically Quinn has washed um her hands with him and so he's kind of hiding at Olivia's house and he wants Olivia to fix him he she he wants to go back to his family remember he's got the son Harvey and he's got his wife and he wants to go back there but Olivia's like I can't fix you I can't do anything to help you and I'm like oh it's so sad because Huck and Olivia they're like brother and sister and I love their relationship and I really want Huck to it's funny because I still love Huck even though he's a murderer it's not his fault is it it's like the, it's like the government corrupted his mind so I'm really rooting for Huck this season to not commit any more murders so you also see a little glimpse of Cyrus and we all know last season Cyrus was fired along with Melly they were both kicked out of the White House and Melly needs wants his help because she wants to she doesn't want this divorce to go through and Cyrus doesn't want anything to do with Melly because he's still hoping that he can get back into the White House and therefore he doesn't want to be associated with Melly and Melly's there crying like oh my god he's really he really hates us he really doesn't want anything to do with us anymore so David Rosen, he was there at the meeting when um, Fitz wanted nothing to do with the investigation into the princess's murder. But he does go secretly to Olivia and gives her the autopsy um, results for the princess. And he says, look, she was pregnant and she was murdered. So Olivia unknowingly goes to the Queen of Caledonia and says, look, this is what happened. She was murdered and she was pregnant. And the Queen, the Queen ordered the murder. Oh my gosh. And again, this is conspiracy theory theories about Princess Diana's murder because when Princess Diana was alive, she said that they would kill her in the car crash and they would make it look like it was an accident and that the Queen was responsible for Princess Diana's death. So again, it's like, I don't, I don't know. I just, I felt uncomfortable with this whole storyline, guys. I'm sorry. It was just like, Anyway, so Olivia is really shocked that this has happened, but the Queen says, look, you signed a disclosure agreement. You can't say anything to anybody about this. I killed her. What are you going to do? So our girl Olivia, she doesn't know what to do. She doesn't want the Queen to get away with killing the princess. So she goes home, she's lying on her bed and she turns and she sees the newspaper a paper article of when the prince went to see the princess as she was laying in the mortuary. And she's like, has this light bulb moment and she goes and tells the prince what the queen has done and so as the Caledonian family are going back to Caledonia and the princess's body is being taken and transported to Caledonia and she has the full kind of military honours you we see the prince saying to the queen you're going to abdicate and you're going to give me you're going to give me my rightful place as king and the next time I see you is when you die because if you don't do that I'm going to tell everybody that you killed the princess because I, don't, I didn't sign a disclosure agreement. Like, I can say everything. So Olivia has finally, she's just so clever. She just finally finds a way to, you know, get justice for the princess. And she says to the queen, well, evil queens, they always get what's coming to them. And I'm like, yes, Olivia is back. So Olivia and Fitz, you brought this on yourself. You were there in the White House like you didn't care who saw you. You were there kissing. You were there having late night sleepovers. You guys did not care who saw you. So it just goes to show that you need to be more careful if you're going to have the affair with the president of the free world. Like you need to be more careful. I mean, there are people in this world who have affairs every single day. I mean, and they, no one knows because they're secret about it. So I don't know what you guys were thinking. So anyway, so you know, you guys know Sally Langston and she is such a traitor. She has her own TV show now. And so she gets to say whatever she likes about the political matters that are going on in Washington. So she exposes the fact that Olivia and Fitz are having an affair together. And that is what, I mean, that is so ungrateful because Sally Langston killed her husband and they all covered it up for her. But she doesn't have any qualms about exposing Fitz and Olivia. I hope Olivia fixes you and I hope you get it. 
So guys, let me know what you thought about the seasoning opener of Scandal. Let me know in the comment section, like this video and subscribe to my channel because I do Scandal reviews every single week and I will see you soon, Drama Divas and Dudes.